Good morning. It is close to nine o'clock. We all slept in, it is nine o'clock actually. We all slept in a little bit today. This is the campsite in Yukon. We are right outside of Dawson City and it was cold last night. This morning it was about six degrees. I'm gonna do the t-shirt update, but because of the uh, coolness, I'm not wearing my Pave Chaser t-shirt. I'm wearing a whole whack of layers, but that's okay. So yesterday we drove from Emerald Lake. We did 600 kilometers and a little bit and uh, made it to Dawson City. All the way to about here. Doesn't look like very far, but it is. <laughs> the plan for today is to go into Dawson City check out the spot because it is a really cool spot and then we're gonna hit the Dempster highway day one on the Dempster this is the big switch we'll be hitting the gravel and we'll be on it for the rest of the journey north camp teardown is gonna commence and we are heading to Dawson <laughs> We've hit the road and we're heading toward Dawson City. It's a quick little 20 kilometer jaunt. Crossing the Klondike River right now. Well, this be it. Welcome to Dawson City, folks. I love that all the streets are still gravel. This is a cool town, like it, it is so cool. Like it's, you basically feel like you're back in the early 1900s. That's a log house there log cabin. I wonder how old that is. The Westmark Inn, Dawson. Check that out. I wonder how old that is. There's like a museum. Photo parlor. A bistro. Look how the, just the mountain just right behind the town. It's like nestled right in here, right on the river, between the river and the big mountain range. And this is the downtown hotel. So we're gonna try the R River West Bistro. So today on the menu is a bacon and egg breakfast bagel with salsa and cheese. Let's see what's in here. So if you have $6,800 and room to carry a 100 pound tusk, you could be the proud owner of a mammoth tusk. Dry bank here, like stuff sacks. Making our way off to the Dempster Highway. And this is where I fill my uh, bladder up. So I put six liters in this. I'm not sure how to strap it to the bike yet. It's not something you want to fly off while you're driving. So I'm gonna temporarily strap it here, go pay for stuff. And then when we go fill it for water, I'll attach it more properly. Hopefully that tastes good. So we have figured it out somewhat. Rain gear, three liters of water, six liters of fuel, two more liters of water, bunch of food, two more liters of gas. That's eight liters of fuel, six liters of water. I should be good. Arctic Ocean is to the left. Go time. There are no emergency medical services. Drive with care. It's a comforting sign. We're going to cross the old Klondike in this blue wooden bridge. Bet you there's gold in there. <laughs> this is, you get some nervous anticipation going on here. I wouldn't say I'm anxious or stressed, I'm just excited. And the road turns to dirt now. 880 kilometers to the Arctic Ocean. 370 kilometers until the next service. The road's actually in really good shape. Tombstone Park right ahead of us. So the 
trees are almost all gone here. You can see the ones that are still around are starting to turn yellow. Look at that valley. Man. I think we need to see this from the sky, folks. Absolutely stunning. This is a must see for people who enjoy epic scenery. Like, this is right out of a movie. Lord of the Rings could have been shot here. Just look at that valley and how the, the mountains just go on, and there's a big pond there at the bottom. River beautiful. This road is basically following the river. This is like another planet. I don't know if you guys have noticed. It's just epic. The proper word is epic. A lake. With the snow in the background. And we're back to this red landscape. Just remarkable. I'm not sure if it's always red like that or if it's just red now because of the fall and the cold. So this road's gonna curve right up beside those big mountains. And over here, these mountains are just barren, red rock, and those are neat formations. I bet if Itchy Boots was here right now, she'd be able to tell you what caused those formations from a geological standpoint. Just stopped the side of this uh, Red River for a quick uh, bite to eat. Not a bad place to have lunch. Bar number two. Look at that red in that rock. Definitely had to do something with minerals. All right. And we're off again. That's pretty cool. All the tall skinny trees on top of that black rock. And then all the rock down there is red. So the road's black now, so they must be making the road material out of that black rock from the mountain to my left. The color of the road changes with the color of the mountains. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Engineer Creek. That's a beautiful spot. Man, that's nice. Red, look at the red. You can see the, the, the red mixing with the clear water. It's like the two different streams are merging right there, and they are. How's that for a, a mishmash of everything? Well, black, black rock is interesting. Oh, the river really widens out here. All right, guys, we just pulled over here on this top of this ridge, kind of climbing the mountains here. We got a massively amazing view of the valley and the mountain range going all the way around, all that way, all gray rock. Eesh, this is rough. 
Look at that road. It's uh, just full of rocks and... I've had to slow right down to a slower pace. And, uh, I mean, it's doable. You just take your time. I think we'll take a break. Look at the uh, amazing view, the sun behind us. It's so cold, you can see your breath. We're on the top of the hill. What a beautiful spot. This is the type of road you don't want to just bomb because you're going to miss a lot. All right, time to get rolling again. We're going to be pulling into Eagle Plains a little later than we ideally wanted. But it's already starting to get dark because of the cloud cover. But uh, we're almost there, so I'm just going to we're just going to muscle through and get to Eagle Plains, find a campground. It's probably going to be dark. Even driving at night is not a big deal because we're not going that fast. Like 50 kilometers an hour here seems to be the max we can get. So we're just going to keep on driving and uh, we'll get there probably in the next half an hour. 